My name's David Bergman. I'm the Research and Development Manager for South East Water and we are now out in the Aquarivo development at our house in Aquarivo. Aquarivo is in the suburb of Lyndhurst, which is near Cranbourne in the southeast suburbs of Melbourne, about 35 kilometres or so from the centre of town. This site was the former Cranbourne treatment plant um, owned by South East Water. And some years ago, we made the decision whether to develop it or sell it as a whole block of land. Instead, we took the decision to uh, develop it with a development partner. Making that decision gave us the opportunity to add more to uh, the future of this estate. The first part of that process was to find ourselves a development partner. Through an extensive process, we actually chose Villawood. Uh, they had a great sustainability uh, goals and background. Also, too, they developed the neighbouring uh, Marriott Waters estate right next to us and understood how it was all going to connect together, the surrounding waterways, and could put together that whole picture for us. So another important part of that process was engaging with the CRC for Water Sensitive Cities and they undertook with us, Villawood and other collaborators, a research synthesis workshop uh, where a whole bunch of ideas were put together about what we could do in the Aquarivo estate. So that resulted in the publication Ideas for Aquarivo, which gave us a whole bunch of ideas of what we could do here at the Aquarivo estate. Many of them we have uh, implemented here at the estate. Uh, rainwater into hot water, using Class A recycled water, all hoping to achieve the outcome of using 70% less drinking water across the estate and in the homes. We knew we had the opportunity to do something a bit different here, to innovate, to really showcase, to pilot and prove what was possible uh, at the estate scale. So we took that opportunity, working with our partners, the CRC for Water Sensitive Cities, through those workshops to really look at what was possible. And the Ideas for Acarivo document outlined quite a number of things we could do here. Everything from the types of water that we used, rainwater, supplying that into homes for bathing and showering, Class A recycled water that we capture on site, treat on site, supply back into homes in the laundries, flushing the toilets as well, helping us create that closed circle for the water cycle on the estate here. Uh, energy ideas, ideas for the open spaces, the wetlands, linking the wetlands, kilometres and kilometres of walking tracks the landscaping, the trees, the cooling impacts that we can have and the overall livability on the site where many of the ideas put on the table and many that we've been able to implement here at Aqua Revo. And we were really driven to do this in the way that we could showcase what was possible now and into the future, learn from it as we go so that we could look at how do we implement this in future estates, how do we help other water utilities and other developers look at what they could pick and choose and put into their estates in the future. So when we looked at the bigger picture of climate change, of population growth and even urbanisation, we really saw Aquarivo as a way to demonstrate some possible solutions uh, in that space by, by being more water efficient, by uh, looking at how we cool the local environment, by making it more green, uh, are really responses to climate change. And as, as we urbanise and the population grows too, we've got to find ways of living in these urban environments in a much more sustainable way. So Aqua Revo and the 460 houses we have here really gave us that opportunity to, to try a whole bunch of things out the way we use rainwater, where it falls. And we wanted to take that on, learn from it, see how we apply it in our future estates and, and share that too. Other water utilities, other developers around the state, around Australia. At the Aqua Rio House, we are showcasing how our research and innovation is enabling sustainable living. Just like any other house at the estate, this house too is equipped with the rain to hot water system the tank talk system and the pressure sewer system, all of which are controlled by the on-site One Box Plus controller. These initiatives, together with Class A recycled water supply, allow for up to 70% reduction in portable water consumption at the house. The Aqua Rivo house is equipped with features such as double glazed windows, heat pump system and passive cooling systems, which together allow it to achieve an 8-star energy rating. 
The garden around the house is carefully designed to facilitate ease of maintaining the human thermal comfort inside the house, as well as promoting outdoor activities around the garden. Alongside the climate station installed by our research partners, we've developed our own prototype environmental monitoring sensors. And the hope is one day we will be able to roll them out on a much wider scale. When we started out with the development, that technology didn't exist in a way that we could guarantee uh, to all our stakeholders, Department of Health, for example, that this water was going to be safe uh, to use. So we had to develop that system. Uh, we set up a test rig at Holmes Glen TAFE with our partners. We engaged with Monash University to do a whole bunch of challenge testing for us to really demonstrate that any bugs that could possibly get in the system were going to be dealt, by it, uh, dealt with it. Um, so that homeowners were going to get safe water in their homes. And the showering bathing process gives uh, supplies about 30% of um, total household usage. So that's the opportunity we have to save in drinking water. We initially set out with the goal of supplying hot water into every outlet in the house. So everything from the shower through to the faucets in uh, the bathroom, the laundry and the kitchen. But as we developed through the process, the engagement with our partners, Department of Health, it became clear that in terms of looking at the overall risk, that we would just supply the hot water um, for showering and bathing purposes. And uh, we would take the learnings from that, the data, the water quality monitoring, and then look to the future about what a bigger implementation might be in the future. But for now, for this project, we'd focus for showering and bathing. So the process for rainwater hot water begins as the rain falls on the roof of the house. We capture about 100 square metres of the roof space that flows into a rainwater tank, which has been supplied, provided by South East Water for free for the customer, um, fitted to their house again by South East Water. The rain, as it flows into that rainwater tank, goes through a leaf catcher, goes through a first flush diverter, so that original rainfall and any um, dirt that might be on the roof is diverted into that before it reaches the tank. Once uh, the water flows out of the tank, it goes through uh, a filtration device, it's UV treated, then it enters the heat pump hot water system where it's treated to 60 degrees, which is a great pasteurisation temperature for bug kill, before it then enters into the home. And every stage of that process is monitored with uh, temperature sensors and other control valves. So we know through our one box controller exactly what's going on in that system, that the water's being treated to the right specification to make sure it's fit for purpose for showering and bathing in the home. And each home, showering, bathing is about 30% of their total household use. So by using rainwater, we're saving up to about 30% of drinking water that would normally go into that process as it then contributes to our total saving goal of 70%. And at Aquarivo, we have a unique supply of Class A recycled water uh, into each of the homes for flushing toilets, for the washing machines and also for watering the gardens. And that process begins at each home. We collect the wastewater sewerage in our uh, precious sewer tank, which is buried in the front yard of each home. That then supplies an estate treatment plant, which then is a unique first to Australia process, which uses plants at the front end to remove the nutrients out of it. It's then treated with UV and chlorine and supplied back into each of the homes, again, closing the loop. By supplying for flushing toilets, washing machines and the garden, that is uh, hoped to save up to about 40% of uh, drinking water supply into the home. So together with the rainwater and the Class A recycled water gets to our target of saving 7% drinking water into each of the homes. We've had great experience through our Peninsula Eco project where we're more than 6,000 pressure sewer units into a rollout down there. So in terms of the maintenance and looking after those, we're well experienced in that. It's part of the annual maintenance program and inspections coming 
uh, each year to come and inspect though the leaf guards the leaf diverters the first flush also check the gutters uh, check the rainwater tank that it's all functioning properly change the filters change the uv system as well through the one box the monitoring system we know exactly what's going on so we get alerts and alarms if that system is not working properly we can send somebody out to go and replace what they need uh, maintain the system. So at Aquarivo we've also taken the opportunity to implement some smart tank technology. So each home having the rainwater tank and having the one box controller there, we've been able to implement our Tank Talk technology. So what the Tank Talk technology does, it uh, looks at the Bureau's weather forecast for the day and days ahead and makes a prediction about how much rainfall is going to fall, how much rain is going to enter into the rainwater tank and create space for it in the tank. So there's a controlling valve at the bottom of the tank that releases that ahead of a rainfall event into the local uh, stormwaters and waterways. The impact of that is that it reduces the impact of heavy downfalls, flood damage and uh, nuisance flooding in the local area. These environmental monitoring sensors prototype uh, constantly monitor uh, the ambient light intensity, relative humidity, soil moisture and soil temperature. Data is fed into the One Box Plus controller and our SCADA system, which allows for remote monitoring and controlling the irrigation and the misting system installed at the house. The irrigation system installed around the house is controlled by the One Box Plus controller, and the sensors continuously send the data to the controller, which then optimizes the water consumption of the system in order to maximize the cooling impacts. The misting system is also installed in the courtyard and is again controlled by our One Box Plus controller based on the feedback that is received from our sensor. The intention over there is to promote outdoor activities in that space so that uh, the energy consumption inside the house is again reduced. At Aquarivo, one of the key features uh, that we've been able to implement here is the smart infrastructure through our One Box controller. Rainwater tanks and sewage systems and treatment plants are a well-known traditional um, processes, but we've taken the opportunity to take a lot of these processes that are passive and turn them into active processes. So by monitoring and control, real-time monitoring and control, we know how these systems are performing. Uh, are they meeting the specifications? Are they supplying the right quality of water and right quality of treatment processes into each of the homes? and we're able to respond, send people out to fix if needed. A lot of the systems have also got backup and bypass systems that are activated automatically by the One Box controller, either at a local level or at our, back in our headquarters at that central control room. Here on the Aqua Revo estate, we have kilometres of waterways built through the centre, through the spine of the estate. And they're very fortunate we've been able to link those up with the neighbouring Marriott Waters estate, also built by our uh, development partners, Villawood. So it means the residents of both of those estates have kilometres of walkways alongside um, beautiful wetlands um, for wildlife really supports some great livability outcomes and well-being outcomes for the residents in the estate. As a result, we're also researching at our own house here in Aqua Revo the way we cool the environment around the house by the use of smart irrigation and smart misting systems around the house. The way we use water to cool the landscape and make that a more livable and healthy environment for our residents as well. So thanks so much for joining us at Aquarivo uh, and we hope that we can share more about what we're learning here and how it might be applied elsewhere. Thanks also too for the heaps of people in South East Water that have been a part of this project and that have made it happen. Uh, thanks too for those years ago that saw the vision in the place. Thanks to our development partners Villawood and the vision that they've seen and how they've worked collaboratively with us. Thanks to the CRC for Water Sensitive Cities that have given us so much inspiration and back the research behind what we're doing here. And we hope that we get the chance to see you soon sometime here at Aquarivo.